Hello and welcome. Here I'm going to be showing about the primary SMTP address and how it can differ from a UPN. As normally when you set up an M365 account, and you can see in this case here, we have Ayrton set up at Cozy Mouse. That will also be his email address. It says UPN for login, and that's what he would be using. There may be circumstances, however, where you say, I want to have this as a UPN for login, and I want to have a completely different domain or even a different address, like a, a prefix for them, um, for their primary SMTP mail. And you think that would be quite easy to configure in the console. And in fact, if I go and look at this, this user here, you'll see if I say manage username and email, I can quite easily go and add that in and add, a, add one that is appropriate, like so. At Danger Mouse Films, and you can see what it's doing though is if I say to it then change to primary email, it's going to make the email address and the username dangermousefilms.com. That's not what we want to do. What we want to do here is we want to have Eden at cozymouse.com as his login, and we want to have Eden at dangermousefilms.com as his primary email address. So, how do we get that configured? Well, first of all, I'm going to close that because I'll show you how to get that done. Um, just a quick check, we'll have a look in the admin center as well. Look at his account here, and you can see his email address is Ed at Cozy Mouse. That's the one we want to get changed. And you can see on the email address is here. Look at the different account types. You can see his primary SMTP currently, Ed at Cozy Mouse. So how we do this is a little bit of PowerShell, just a one liner in PowerShell to make that happen. So we're going to connect to the Exchange Online in PowerShell 7 which is what I've done here. And I just paste a quick command in here, which is just giving the properties of that account, basically. And you can see currently, before we do anything, our user principal name, Ed and Cozy Mouse, the, the primary SMTP is the same and same as the Windows email address. Now it's the Windows email address. That's our key one that we can change to make that update. So really just to set him to that domain, which is going to be the dangermousefilms.com, really we just want run one single command over the top there. And it really is as simple as that. We're just going to set that on the mailbox there, setting his Windows email address. Now, if we give that a second, we'll come back into the tenant and just do a, a refresh on here. So we'll come out of here, just do a refresh. And let's have a look at his account again. And you can see here, nothing yet. Takes a minute or two. And there we go. Okay, so that's now taken effect. You can see he's got a username of Cozy Mouse, but he has a primary SMTP of Danger Mouse Films and an extra alias assigned in here for the mail transport. Now the aliases here mean that it's going to receive mail still on Ed and Cozy Mouse, but it will have the primary outgoing email as Danger Mouse Films. Shoot over to the Exchange Admin Center and refresh this. You should see that changes too to DangerMouseFilms.com. There we go and going in there having a look at the address types you can see now we have our primary danger mouse films and this is a secondary so just so it can still receive mail on the old account so that's all good that was pretty painless and easy to do but what if we have another user that has a synchronization with an on-prem domain uh, if we were going to look at that user let's say we look at this guy here Milo Schwartz. Let's say we want to do the same thing. We want to actually make his primary email milo at dangermousefilms.com and do that. Now when we have a look at here, you'll see in the mailbox side of the house here, this is all, like I say, pretty standard email address types. There's our, our Milo Schwartz. If I were to try and go and edit those, you can see it's not letting me. Um, it's really because this account is synchronized with the on-prem servers. In fact, if I go in here to Milo and I even try and do anything manually in here, it's going to say, nope, you can't do it. Look, it's, it's on local local Active Directory, so I can't touch it. And indeed, if I do run that script on Milo, which I will just do just to show you that it, uh, that it uh, doesn't take effect. Let's actually just type that in there and let's see what happens for mailbox. Let's go in with uh, Milo and it's Schwartz at, let's say, cozymouse.com and we set the Windows email address, let's try and set it to milo at dangermousefilms.com and it should give us an error, there we go, saying it's it's a synced object with Active Directory, uh, so we can't change it. Okay, so what are we going to do? How are we going to get this to work? We're going to have to make a very small change on the local AD server and have that one pass through, but it, what I'm going to show you is what you actually need to change in there. So this is our domain controller, and if we look at Milo's account, 
we'll look in the attribute editor and you'll notice that there's nothing in there for the proxy addresses which is what we want to put in so we can do that just quite easily with a script and i'll paste that from here might be a good idea just to do a get ad user first which will show that he exists he does have a upn just to show that we're not going to be changing the upn but what we're doing the command we run is really just to set those proxy addresses so we're setting the smtp in capitals which makes it the primary to milo at danger mouse films and obviously the secondary for what it was before the email address here is a bit more aesthetic than anything else it just shows up on the front screen what that email address is so let's now copy that into this window just run that command and you can see obviously if i just go back in here and just do the user that upn is not changed that's quite key we do not want to change the upn for them we're just changing the proxy address but now if we go in here and look at the attribute editor you'll notice that the proxy address is now set now obviously you can go through and add these as much as you want manually i, I do it with the script much easier and much faster but you can see the effect it's got inside that particular record so we'll just come out of there and really what I'm doing now is just waiting for that to sync. Now, it depends if you're using the uh, Enter ID Connect Sync or the or the Cloud Sync. Um, it will uh, just go through. Just, just hang around and wait for it to go through. I'm going to go over to the back to the tenant now and just, uh, just wait and do a few refreshes and see that change take effect on that account. So looking at the provisioning logs for the agent, you can see there's our user Milo. And if you look at the modified properties as it's come through, and we just scoot excuse me, all the way down to the bottom here, you'll find that, there we go, proxy address has been set. Okay, let's see what it's done to the, the user object itself. If we go back to our users, and we'll do a refresh here. And there we go, we've got a username, and we've got some different aliases, but look at this, we've got a primary email address now set to Milo at Danger Mouse Films, which is perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. And in the admin center, if I refresh this one as well, we should see a Danger Mouse Films. There we are, Danger Mouse Films as his account name here. That's the user ID, which is the Cozy Mouse, which is the old UPN is great. And there's our email addresses. And if we look at the different types, you can see the, the older Cozy Mouse one is still there as an accepted alias. So there we go. So as a quick final test here, I'm just gonna start an incognito window. We'll log in as Milo, so we go, Milo dot. Now notice here, the reason I'm showing you this is so you can see I'm logging in with the UPN as a Cozy Mouse UPN, like so, password, and yep. And jumping in straight into the portal, if we go to the apps and go to Outlook, we'll find that UPN is Cozy Mouse, but the primary SMTP, there we go, that is set to, there we are, Milo at Danger Mouse Film. So if I send an email now, it will come out as Milo. So there we go, there you have it. That is how easy it is to set the primary SMTP address different to a UPN in both an on-prem uh, situation with a local active directory being synced and also for the cloud uh, objects as well. as. So yes, thank you for watching. Hope that was helpful. And uh, please, please do subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate that. And I will see you on the next one. Have a good day.